So, you want to know how to do this. Die. Yes. That's it. <sighs> well, you've come to the right place because I've got just the guide for you. Today, I'll be explaining all the mechanics that you need to know and how to reform it the most efficiently. Enjoy! Also, a few disclaimers. Should be mentioned that killing Syphilis Prime instantly is no easy feat, as it takes roughly 6 hours for me to do with 220 hours on record and speed running it. Also, I'm not very good at explaining things, so please try to follow along the best you can. And if you have any questions, comments, concern, comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Enjoy! Act 1. Dead coining. Dead coining is performed by shooting a coin and then quickly throwing a new coin so that the shot coin attempts to chain to the thrown coin in its dead coin period. The damage is transferred and one damage is added, but the dead coin per period prevents a ricochet, allowing the player to farm damage and punch the new coin. We can use this mechanic to do insane amounts of damage. Act 2. Coin punching. Coin punching in this case is used for two reasons. The first reason being just to stack up a tiny bit of damage at the start. Simply jumping and hitting the coin, then jumping again and hitting it twice will add some damage to the coin. You can also dead coin right after this, which will even add more damage. Also, don't hit the coin too early or else it won't work. The second reason is so we can actually chain coins off of the boss. Doing this will actually put the boss in a combo where you can do a slab ricochet, which I'll explain later. Also, it does a ton of damage. Act 3. Slab Ricochet Slab ricocheting is the process of charging a slab shot and shooting a coin with it. Furthermore, if we take the same coin, shoot it with the slab shot, and shoot it with the blue rail cannon at the same time, we can actually multiply its damage by a ton. This so will be incorporated in the fight in that Syphilis Prime will be set up so that we can shoot the slab revolver through his head and hit the coin and do the same thing with the blue rail cannon, basically getting even more damage in, but also ricocheting onto the coin to get even more damage in. Act 4, Saw Setup. Saws are well, pretty unique. One nail can hold 15 saws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Any more will break it. With this in mind, you can only keep 15 saws in it. But there's also the alternate version of the saw gun. Now, if you have sheets off, you can actually do an entire cliff of saws and this, this alternate version saw, and two more saws, and it'll be just enough, and it'll stack a ton of damage. Check this out. Just hold and click. Go on here, right clicking. Then let's just do this. Just just click twice. One, two, and this will all stay in. And then you can place nails every time this nail is about to break and just keep going like that. Now even more info, if we actually place two nails inside of each other, they will act as one and multiply how many saws could be inside of each other. So at the end of the battle, place two saws and then place all of your nails and then place another one of these alternate version saws. They will go away, except they won't go away before um, you can actually destroy Syphilis Prime if you start doing the second volley of saws as soon as he says this voice line. You shall do as an appetizer. Remember, once again, once you hear that voice line, place two extra saws, place all of your saws, and then use the alternate version saw. And then you'll do what I'm gonna say after. These saws will go ahead and kill the boss. Most, some of the health at least. Now, I didn't think this needed its own section because it's pretty simple. Basically, with the whiplash, you can actually whiplash your own coins, keep keeping them in the air. And keep your coin in the air while you place saws. Because, you know, if your coin falls, it dies. Act 5. Combining all these techniques. Alright, so now we're in P-2. What you want to do is perform a uh, slam storage to get up here and come up here. If you can't do that, then you can simply rock and ride up there. After this, just simply go this way and whiplash onto the blue circles. 
keep coming this way and go down the lift and it'll bring you to this now i'm not going to go into this video how you want to kill the what is it prison whatever but if you mess up on it it doesn't matter if you die on it it doesn't matter it only matters if you mess up on the boss as you have to reset unlike this but i do like to start this way so you might want to copy me as it is pretty fast Oh, and I just left that up already. But that's okay. Remember, health is not an issue here. So don't worry about saving health for the big grand fight. Because this thing is going to be over soon. Oh my god, okay. So as soon as that starts happening, and I m messed up my coin punch, Oh, and another thing I should add, don't dead coin while the game is going slow-mo, as it almost always messes up your timing. Now, as you can see, I actually messed up on a couple coins, but because I start so early, I don't think it will work. I mean, I don't think it will matter. We're gonna head, we're gonna edge in a little closer, because I like being close to the boss. Put our saws there. Put some more saws. Dead coin a little bit more. Let's place another saw so our saws are out. Shoot two more saws. Before I take down the cities and crush the armies of heaven, you should do Alright, he said that, so we're gonna place some more saws and move over here. And die. Yes. And there we go. That was actually like first try, so that's pretty nice. So what I got there is basically insta kill. It takes I say one and a half seconds to two seconds to do that, but if you do everything right, it'll kill him. Now, a common um, thing that got me him really low, but it didn't quite insta-kill him, but I didn't wait until this guy stops talking. A common thing that happened to me is that he would spawn, and I would place the saws wrong, so when he would spawn, he would run up to be a little closer to me, but the, he would just walk out of the range of the saws. So let's say he was standing here, but when the game starts, He'll walk in the middle, and the saws aren't hitting him anymore. So make sure you put the nail to the side of him, and he'll be right here, so the saws are piercing him. I hope that makes sense. Another thing is, try to save your coins and not use them on the actual um, boss before um, this boss, so you would actually dead coin a little bit more. Also, try to be cool and collect it, because whenever the heat is on you, you tend to dead coin a lot faster, and it does that so anyways hope this uh helped you guys i didn't explain too much into the mechanics and i'll be linking down some youtubers who can explain the mechanics that i have just listed even further and that might help you act six conclusion now you've killed the boss or you haven't and you're having troubles I'm trying to tr summarize some of the troubles that i've had first off dead coining if you're having hard times dead coining, just try to pace your times easier. Or go into sandbox mode and practice there. I find it much easier to practice in sandbox mode with no cooldowns enabled. Another thing is the saws. I mentioned it in the video, but I don't think I mentioned it very well. You want to position the, the nail of the saw so that when the boss spawns, it will pierce him, but even still piercing him if he walks up to you. Like for example, placing it on the side will pierce him even if he moves towards you in a straight line, if that makes any sense. Another thing is coin punching. Coin punching can be hard, and sometimes you can miss your coin punches and it's very frustrating. The ones at the end, I mean. What I could do is go in sandbox mode, throw a coin up right next to um, Syphilis Prime, and try to bounce it off him twice as if you would do it in-game. And if you want to further improve that, you can slab ricochet it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, please comment them down below. Also answer any questions that you guys have or if you're having difficulty using the strategy as I would hate to make you follow a strategy that doesn't work. You know, I know it works. See ya.